vast amount of information in various forms, such as texts, graphics, sounds, and videos. The internet itself provides an enormous database from which users can access global information. Good day everyone! Today we will discuss the importance of computer as the teacher's tool. In this lesson, we look at the computer from another perspective as the teacher's handy tool. It can in fact support the constructivist and social constructivist paradigms of learning. So, let me first discuss to you what is constructivist all about. Constructivism was introduced by Jean Piaget and Jerome Brunner. They gave stress to knowledge discovery of new meaning, concept, and principles in the learning process. Various strategies have been suggested to foster knowledge discovery. Among these are making students engage in gathering and organized information from which they can induce ideas and principles. Students are also asked to apply discovered knowledge to new situations, a process for making their knowledge applicable to real-life situations. While social constructivism is an effort to show the construction of knowledge which is governed by social, historical, and cultural context. In effect, this is to say that the learner who interprets knowledge has predetermined point of view according to the social perspectives of the community or society he lives in. The psychologist Lev Vygotsky stressed that learning is affected by social influences. He therefore suggested the interactive process in learning. The more capable the classmate, the teacher, and parent can aid or complement what the learner sees in a given class project. In addition, John Dewey sees language as a medium for school coordination and adaptation. For Dewey, human learning is really human languishing, which occurs when students socially share, build, and agree upon meanings and knowledge. To fully understand the meaning of the two paradigms of learning, we have here the summary of those two learning perspectives. In constructivism, knowledge is constructed by the individual. In social constructivism, knowledge is constructed within social context. In constructivism, students build their own learning. In social constructivism, students build knowledge influenced by the social context. In constructivism, we gather and organize information to create new concepts or principles. In social constructivism, we exchange and share from ideas and stimulate thinking. In constructivism, it is a personal discovery of knowledge. In social constructivism, it is where students discuss and discover meanings. The computer's capabilities Given its present-day speed, flexibility, and sophistication, the computer can provide access to information, foster creative social knowledge building, and enhance the communication of the achieved project package. Without computer, today's learners may still be assuming the tedious task of low-level information gathering and in building new knowledge packaging. But this is not so, since the modern computer can help teachers and students to focus on more high-level cognitive tasks. Bye.
provide vast amounts of information in various forms such as texts, graphics, sounds, and video. Even multimedia encyclopedias are available in the internet today. The learner itself provide an enormous database from which user can access global information resources that includes the latest news, weather forecast, airline schedule, sports development, as well as educational information. The internet and education can be the source for kinds of educational resources in the computer. Communication tool. Students can use catered information for composition or presentation projects as may be assigned by the teacher. Given the fact that the internet can serve as a channel for global communication, the computer can be the key tool for video teleconferencing sessions. Constructive tool. The computer itself can be used for manipulating information, visualizing one's understanding, and building new knowledge. The Microsoft Word computer program is desktop publishing software that allows users to organize and present their ideas in attractive format. Co-constructive tool. Students can use co-constructive tools to work cooperatively and construct a shared understanding of new knowledge. One way of co-construction is the use of electronic whiteboard where students may post notices to a shared document. Students may also cover the same document from their homes. The computer-supported intentional learning environment is an example of an integrated environment developed by the Ontario Institute for Studies in Education. Students can enter their ideas in notes and respond to each other's ideas. It can manifest in the student-generated database, the higher-level thinking process explaining, problem-solving, or finding, expertise and development, and literacy improvement. Multi-user domain, MUD object-oriented, and multi-user shared hallucination are examples of situating systems. A school-to-school -school or classroom-to-classroom -classroom environment is possible, whereby the user can choose to walk around the campus or talk with other users who are logged to the same site. One of the most important use of computer is to serve as teacher's hiding tool. It lessens the works of the teachers in which they can focus on the learning process of the students.